Hello everybody, welcome back to Smart Poker's YouTube channel and the next installment of our pot ups on our auto flowers here. These plants are part of the Spring Auto Flower Challenge over at Coco for Cannabis. And uh, we started it on 420, which is 15 days ago. Uh, our last one was, uh, the last video was us taking them uh, and putting the rapid rooters into the solo cup. So that was first pot up. This will be the second and last pot up. Uh, we raised the bottoms on these a little bit, so this is probably about two and a half gallons or so. And uh, so these plants, up to this point, we started them on 400 EC, and we started them on 400 micromoles of density in the light to keep them from stretching. And at this point, we've now raised them to a 0.55 EC, or 550, and we have raise the micromoles up to about 500 and we're sitting here now at node 5 on day 15 and uh we always like to talk to people about potting their auto flowers and how to go about getting them up and growing fast and we hope that this video will help solidify some of the advice that we give so this plant the way that we decide when it's ready to go is we look at the top and you can see if you look directly down on top these are way out over the edges and if you look this way you'll see that the nodes are really starting to push up now and stack well so it's a good time this is a sticky dicky from homegrown cannabis company uh we really love their seeds this is our second round we have a code it's smot s-m-o-t if you go to the homegrown cannabis company and we'll try to uh give us give us a shot we'll get you a link if you need it but yeah this is going to be fun so uh we're gonna go ahead and do the pot up now and we always tell people uh, it's very unfortunate the amount of misinformation that has been spread about auto flowers. And you should always pot them up. And uh, this is why. Auto flowers, they're going to flower on a time basis. So you only have a short amount of time to cultivate a really nice root zone. And that's what I call a really nice root zone. It's not quite pot bound yet. These, these are still spreading. So I'll be able to put them in here. They'll keep on growing. And she'll find herself some really nice uh, footprint in this in this next pot. So nice and simple, right in. We'll go ahead and fertigate this pot with the same EC that they have been receiving up to this point. We've also taken a pre-step, as you can see all the water in the bottom, of pre-fertigating this pot before we put the plant in there. That way the electrical conductivity of the root zone inside this cup is going to be the same electrical conductivity as the uh, uh, the media that's in this pot. That way you get no osmotic stress. Now when I come and water this, it'll take care of the nutrient element ratio on everything. And uh, I hope you'll come back because this plant's not going to stop. It's on pace to be a really great auto flower by anybody's standards. And we're going to manifold it. We're going to take the first two nodes here in the next day or so once we realize that the auto or that the pot up went well and she's still blasting out growth we're going to go ahead and take off nodes one and two once she hits the sixth node and it's fairly well pronounced we're going to cut her in half and uh that's when the manifold begins so we hope you come back we hope you're as excited as we are about growing in the spring auto flower challenge and watching these auto flowers just come to life She's under 24 hours a day light here for the first two weeks or so. And uh, boy, are they doing really great. Uh, these are two Crystal Pinkmans, also from Homegrown Cannabis Company from the same day. Uh, we dropped them all the same day. This is our other Sticky Dicky. Uh, it's also going to get potted up. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So we hope these tips help. We hope that seeing this happen and before your very eyes will get rid of some of the bro science that's been proliferated around the community. And people can come and see for themselves exactly the steps to create a beautiful auto flower. They're really not much different than photos outside of the flowering time is not dictated by the Skoto period. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. We hope everybody comes back and keeps on this track with us so you can watch them grow. And we hope that we don't make any mistakes and we can get this girl to full potential because that's always a, an issue too, you know. Uh, so, as always, behind the camera is my wonderful wife, Crispy Wannabe. And I couldn't do any of this without her, God love her. And I couldn't do it without my friends and uh, Gromies in the community that have helped us get here and continue to further us in this wonderful uh, way of life that we've chosen. 
We'll see you next time. Grow her love. Grow her love, everyone.